job. <laughs> it's all toast, isn't it? Uh, so I'm one of Sean's best men. Uh, you don't know who I am, but this is who I am. Who I am. My name is Joe. And Bill had a great speech last night, but I drew the short straw, so I got to go tonight in front of 300 people. So please laugh more than you need to. <coughs> To enough people to get them going. <laughs> uh, but I actually want to do a real quick toast. Uh, this is a gorgeous wedding. And there is a lot of people that have worked behind the scenes, me or none of the grooms would be in any of them. Uh, between their families, the bridesmaids, a lot of people put a lot of work into this, and, and this is just overwhelmingly gorgeous. So I want to do a real quick toast to that before I talk. Nice. Restrictions on my speech tonight that uh, pretty much eliminate the story of our last 15 years spent together. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna have to find something to talk about. But as I sat around thinking of how we got to this point here today, uh, I started thinking about just how picky this guy has been over the years. Uh, those of you know who know him know he's picky about everything. He's an absolute nightmare to cook for. Uh, I've lived with him twice, and I would make this phenomenal food. Bill loved it, and Sean would just pick, pick, pick. There'd be like a pile of tomatoes, a pile of onions, a pile of, and then he would eat it and be like, "Oh, that was good." I'm like, "Sean, you ate cheese and chicken. <laughs> I can't mess that up." Uh, but he's always also been very picky about finding the one, uh, and I. Me and apparently a lot of people from last night didn't know if this would ever happen. Uh, but he could find the smallest thing about a girl that would be a deal breaker. I mean, a misplaced, a misplaced freckle, an awkward second toe. <laughs> Nothing was off limits. Like, Sean, what happened? And I mean, toe pointed left. was like, that. <laughs> I'm done with it. Like, Jesus, guy, you're 30. <laughs> So, one night I was living with him and I sat him down at our table I said, Sean, we need to make a list of must-haves. Not every little thing about a girl. We need must-haves that you need in a woman to call her the lucky Mrs. Carpenter. Well, we started simple. The three that everybody's heard, uh, let's see, she's got to be pretty. And I think we can all say Sean out kicked his coverage here. <laughs> uh, she's got to be funny, and I'm going to tell you all, she is so hilarious when she picks on Sean. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and she's got to be smart, I'm going to say she's no dummy. Uh, but as I mentioned at the very beginning of my speech, Sean put many restrictions on this. I have a three minute time limit. So I'm not going to sit here all night. But after four and a half hours, we had a lady who would be Mrs. Carpenter. The list of Mrs. So, uh, but in all seriousness, He has a family to call his own, and he walks with a different stride. So, we all thank you for that. And I'm going to speak on behalf of his best friends. We're happy he doesn't call us mean names anymore for not going out on Friday night. So, thank you for that too. Um, but you know, I was over at Joel's house about a year and a half ago. It was a 4th of July party. Just had a couple couples over. And there was a moment that day where Van was 
climbing up on Sean on his chair. And they were climbing all over and picking on each other like, like boys do. And everybody was looking at Sean like, oh, Sean's so cute, so cute. And it was cute. But I looked over at you for a moment, and you just had a look of sheer joy in your face. The, the two boys in your life were getting along so well and had so much love for each other. And I know how much that must mean to you. And I knew that the next day, Sean would be proposing to you and would make you the happiest girl that you could be. And I was so happy to see that. Uh, I'm just so happy for this, I guess. Uh, but I must say, in all honesty, Sean has been a fantastic friend to me for many, many years. I know he'll be a great husband to you. He's going to be a great father of your children. And I just want to give a toast to a happy marriage and the new carpenter plan. <laughs>